All right. I'm going to put what happened in Turkey into context for y'all. See, a lot of folks working for the government have been let go from their position. Why? Because on July 15th, some fool's done got involved with a failed coup attempt. Trying to overthrow a government late on Friday night while everybody else is just looking forward to the weekend. Jawan met with his people and betcha he done declared a state of emergency on Wednesday night during a live televised speech. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Not quite. Here I am thinking, I don't know, maybe because I'm bored, that we might as well have our own coup here in the U.S. Not some sense in the people. But seriously now, picture this. The U.S. Capitol in Washington gets bombed while representatives in the chamber make statements about the coup. Three helicopters packed with Navy SEALs attack the hotel where the president was, and he barely manages to escape. Get this! The Secretary of Defense is tortured by some of his own officers and is forced to make a statement in support of the coup. Tanks close off the Brooklyn Bridge in New York City and the infantry fires at civilians and over 200 people are killed. CNN, Fox, and CBS studios get rated, taken off air, and staff are removed, but of course not before they terrorize a young thing to present a pre-arranged statement. Martial law is declared, U.S. Air Force jets fly over New York and Washington, D.C. just to freak people out. The CIA and NSA offices get fired at by helicopters, but headquarters of Homeland Security is bombed by a jet, and the president of the USA is constantly on the move, and the only way he can talk to his country is by FaceTime and Fox News. He's forced to abandon Air Force One and jump onto an unmarked plane and escape not just one, but two two F-16s that are in the air searching for him. All churches across the country ring their bells, asking people to pray and rise up. Not in big moments! People, I'm talking everybody and their mama, defied the army and just took over the streets and public squares. Within a few hours, the people, y'all, stopped the coup. Look, it's unfortunate. Lives were lost and people were left injured. But we stood up against those punks because you got to do what you got to do to keep freaking democracy alive. Now, what if I tell you this American guy who mustered this chaos lived comfortably in his mansion 5,000 miles away and we asked for him to be returned? Isn't it time he come on home? Because we've got some talking to do. Please oldu. Sen kimin torunusun bile mi? Hadi ya. Sen kimsin ya? Ülke yönetiyoruz, ülke! Ya bir kere ölür bir insan ya.